Well, days of our lives, fans, listen up. We have form a former character on the show, Mara Pearl, used to play Nurse Darla Cook on days... Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Jan. How are you doing these days? Great. It's an exciting time. It is an exciting time for you. Well, we have a lot of diehard Days fans here in Arizona. So what? maybe let's talk a little bit about the show and what was it like being on such a popular long-running show? I have to say, at first, I was such a snob. I thought soap opera was beneath me and I was a classically trained actress. And I had this meeting come up, so I went to the meeting and Really, I took the job in about 10 seconds. I bet. <laughs> and I learned so much from working on the show. I worked with marvelous actors, directors, crew. It was a grand experience. Did you, who were some of your favorite characters to work with? And maybe share some funny or dramatic behind the, we love behind, <laughs> behind the, scenes. the scenes stories. Well, I started on the show at about the same time Drake Hoekston joined the cast. Uh -huh. And I was working with John Aniston quite a bit, who was the bad guy, Victor Kyriakis. And I was always saving people <laughs> by putting them on a gurney, covering them with a sheet, and scooting them off down the hallway. As far as behind the scenes, you know, the show must go on. I happened to have been hanging a picture which fell on my thumb and broke my thumb. Wouldn't you know, that week, they said, and now, uh, Mara, we're going to be shooting a close-up of your thumb. If you'll just... So we had to uh -oh. take off the cast and do makeup on the thumb. And also that week, we had a fight scene with me and two other women. You'd think they'd so. work around that thumb scene, you <laughs> <I> know? know. <laughs> but so, the show must go the show on, must especially go on. in soaps, yes, right? Yes, exactly. That's a lot of stuff to remember daily. I mean, just yes. give us a sense of what it's like to prep every day for a, a Now, I wasn't on every day, right. but I would be on maybe two or three times a week. What? The script arrives. The tricky thing with a soap is that the story progresses slowly so as to keep people involved in the story. And the mm -hmm. scripts are similar. So you might have a dreaded moment on Tuesday where you suddenly think, oh, I'm on the Monday script. But there was a lot of memorization, and then it was a 12-hour day. So yeah. you start the day very early with a camera block and a rehearsal. Right. So there's a discipline and an energy that you, you have to... What do you think about all the, the um, old actors making comebacks and making appearances back on the show? I'm thrilled. I'm waiting to get my call. <laughs> you will. <laughs> so from Nurse Cook now to a women's fiction author, how did that happen? It's an interesting journey. The intermediate step for me was that I created my own soap, but I did it for radio. I really fell in love with that form of storytelling, yes. created a radio drama, and surprisingly, it got picked up by the BBC. Really? was the first American radio serial that they had ever broadcast. And we didn't know if it would work, but we had four and a half million listeners. That's amazing. So, and, and as far as journalism, you actually started as a writer for yes. the Associated Press, right? I didn't start at the AP, but I did start as a journalist and worked my way up learned from wonderful writers, learned how to research, how to interview. So these two paths, Connect. the performing and the writing, eventually really came together when I started producing my own soap. And I developed an audience there, and there was you know, a demand for, how about doing it as books? And now, so the, uh, yes. so the audience has been waiting for your book. Tell us about the new book and where you're going from there. It's a story about life in a little town, uh, my protagonist is a young woman, a painter. She's always used her head and been real smart, but kind of ignored her heart. Mm. So she's starting to listen to her heart, which is opening up new pathways. And that's really what I have to say to readers, that are you listening to your heart? What in your heart of hearts did you always want to do someday? And are you doing it yet? Well, you're going to have lots of folks following you. You're doing a 12 se book series, yes. which is very exciting. Yes. So tonight, you are launching, you're doing an internet book launch. Yes. And folks right here in the Valley can get involved. How fun is that? Tell me about that. And how, do, how, do we, how does that work? You go to my website. So it's marapearl.com. And there will be a video window. Okay. And I'll be on the air for about 90 minutes, taking questions, having discussions. I love connecting with my readers any way that I can. So I love the live events. I do tea events. I'm doing a tea at Ritz-Carlton later in the week. And uh, it's just a lovely way to connect. And 
it's a new world, right? So well, we're trying something. Absolutely. The best of luck to you. And it's really great that you're going to be doing so many different things here in the Valley. So we get to enjoy you in a lot of different capacities. So Thank you. Well, Phoenix is a wonderful place. I'm very thrilled to be here. So You bet. And so tonight you're going to be? 5 o'clock till, till 6.30, maropearl.com the live streaming launch. How fun. Thank you so much. Thank Great you, to Jan. see you. And then Tuesday, you're going to be at Changing Hands Bookstore. Changing Hands in Tempe. Which is yes. one of our favorite Love places. Love that bookstore, yes. And then the afternoon tea, uh, reservations required for that. And for more information uh, and details about the new book, all you have to do is go to maraperl.com.